Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are in the beautiful state of Querétaro in Mexico and we are looking for the tallest of all Astrophytum species, none other than Astrophytum ornatum. We already saw a couple specimens but we're going to wait to see some really nice ones to show you. And as always, the most important message that we can share with you guys is take only pictures from habitat and from nature, never take the plants or the animals. We're showing you every single one of the more than 1800 cactus species on this channel on the planet in hopes that you fall in love with not just the plants but their ecosystems so that you'll fight for conservation. Let's go. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome. I hope you like cacti. We make nothing but content related to cacti and succulents in both cultivation and in the wild to try to highlight the importance of their conservation. Remember, take nothing but pictures from nature. It wasn't long before the first giants of this beautiful state of Querétaro started to appear. Echinocactus platiacanthus, or sweet bisnaga as they're called in Mexico, the largest of all barrel cacti. These beautiful giants can live to be hundreds of years of age in such a harsh and inhospitable environment, and their magnificent size makes them visible all the way from the highway. Underneath one of these individuals, we were able to find one of the reasons why it's never a good idea to remove cacti from their natural ecosystems, as thousands of animal species rely on these plants for shelter and sometimes food in order to survive the harsh desert. We continued to climb this mountain in search for the largest species of all Astrophytum, and finding along the way some of its equally stunning neighbors in this beautiful habitat, one of which is an Areocarpus, and I'll save it as a surprise just in case we're not able to find it, as unlike that Astrophytum, it's quite small and very difficult to find. These Mammillaria geminispina cushions were quite interesting in that they showed many different phenotypes, although they were supposed to be the same species. And I say supposed to be because they could have also been hybrids, which are quite common in this genus, just like the Copiapoa we saw in Chile, which readily hybridized out in the field. The Areocarpus species that I mentioned earlier lives in mineral rich deposits just like this one. So from here on out, we'll start walking a lot slower and looking right at the ground in search for these tiny plants that like to mimic their environments to try to find these masters of camouflage.
this Ariocarpus species is not just smaller than others like Retusus or Fissuratus, but since it lives right at the soil level, it's not uncommon to find it either partially or completely covered by soil, which makes it that much harder to find them. Luckily though, after quite a bit of searching, we were able to find this locality of Ariocarpus cochovellanus elephantidens. Do you think this plant is variegated or just a little toasty thanks to the sun? After documenting all of these beautiful plants for you, we made sure to cover them back up with the stones or dirt that was covering them when we found them, not just to protect them from the harsh desert sun, but also from poachers. Although with the strong winds of this area, perhaps that covering may not last so long. And now, after accomplishing our mission to find the most difficult plant on our list, we're on our way to find Astrophytum. If you're enjoying this adventure, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos we have in store for you. You're not going to want to miss the amazing species we've been able to capture for you. Just a bit farther up the mountain, we were able to find the first Astrophytum ornatum plants of decent size which showed their true proportion when compared to the other species of their genus. And on one of these individuals, we found something astounding, called Myrmkokori. These ants were carrying out a vital task for the survival of these cacti. They're responsible for the dispersion of the seed, and in exchange, the plant provides them with an oil of nutritional substances found on the surface of the seeds, called ileosome. This dispersal of seeds carried out by an animal is known as zucchery, and it's one more example of the vast network of complex relationships between plants and animals of these ecosystems. In order to see the last species of today's video, we had to keep on climbing. And although my legs were ready to give out, we were seeing such amazing plants everywhere that I couldn't even think about stopping. And the higher we climbed, the larger the astrophytum got. And also my smile. We were seeing specimen up to two and three feet tall. Just how old do you think these have to be? As we got closer and closer to the peak of this magical magnificent mountain, finally the not so gentle blue giants that we were looking for started to appear, Ferrocactus glaucescens. Plastered all over this limestone wall, they really made us work hard to find them, but to be honest it was really worth it.
as always, thank you so much for joining our adventures. Remember to check out our website, eastcoastcomanchaca.com for plants, cactus t-shirts, potting soil, or pots. And remember, take only pictures from habitat, never the plants or the animals. See you on the next episode. Subscribe.